Hello, I'm David Boyer, Danfoss Service Training Coordinator. I'm going to explain how to expand the input-output capabilities of your Danfoss drive. Please take a moment now to pause the video to read the safety warnings shown here. Failure to follow these warnings could result in death or serious injury. How to select optional input-output expansion cards? Let's just start by going over what comes standard in every VLT drive. You've got six programmable binary inputs. Two of those can be configured as binary outputs. Two of those can be configured as pulse inputs or pulse outputs. You've got two analog inputs. They can take either 0 to 10 volt or 4 to 20 milliamp. You have one analog 4 to 20 milliamp output and two programmable form C relays. If that's not enough, there are four option slots where you can add additional capability, A, B, C, and D. The A slot, if the built-in protocols are not covering what you need, you can add a serial communication option card. The B slot would be where I would call it hardware digital and analog signals, either inputs or outputs, and relays would go in the B slot. C slot motion controllers, that would be the advanced cascade controller or synchronizing and positioning controllers. And then the D slot is where you would add the 24 volt DC backup option where you can keep your drives control card alive with 24 volts DC without line voltage being applied to it. This is going to show us where all of those option cards go. Take off the keypad, you get back to the control card, and this, that's the A slot right there. Your serial communication options would go into there. This is the B slot. Uh, this is what we're going to focus on. Those B slot option cards go right there. That is the 24 volt DC backup that goes into the D slot. And then here's the C options, the motion controllers. These are all of the different B slot options digital analog input output and relays, the different drives they're compatible with. We're going to focus on these three. General purpose input output, the MCB 101. The relay card, MCB 105. The analog input output, MCB 109. The 101, what does that add for you? You get three additional digital inputs. You get two additional 0 to 10 volt inputs, two additional digital outputs, and a uh, one more 4 to 20 milliamp output. The relay card adds three relays. They are all three form C relays, programmable. And then uh, the analog input output MCB 109. This one gives you an additional three analog 0 to 10 volt inputs that can be configured to take temperature sensors. It gives you three uh, additional analog outputs, 0 to 10 volts, and it includes the backup battery supply for the real-time clock. Without this, if you set a time and date into the drive, every time you cycle power, it's going to revert back to its default settings. So if you want to use the real-time clock, you get the VLT analog input-output MCB 109 option. And then we're talking about the B options. You take off the cradle, the keypad. This plugs right into here. And it's plug and play. Once you plug that in, you just go into the drives parameters to configure those inputs and outputs and relays to uh, do what you want to do. There is a document, it's called the PB400A402, named the FC Option Overview, where it describes every option, the ones that go in the A slot, the B, the C, and the D. And if you can't find that online, you can call our tech support number and they can get that to you, 888-326-3677. So that covers it for um, input and output option cards. Thanks for listening. Thank you for viewing. We hope this information has been helpful. Danfoss Drives can provide additional technical support, parts information, or repair services options by contacting us through one of the following methods. For immediate access to customer service or a technical support expert in North America, call 
888-DANFOSS or 1-888-326-3677 or contact us through email. For technical support, the email address is drives.ts.na at danfoss.com. For customer service, the email address is drives.cs.na at danfoss.com. For after-sales service, the email address is drives.ts.service.na at danfoss.com. Additional information is also available on our website at www.danfossdrives.com. For contact information in areas outside of North America, please visit our global website at www.danfoss.com. Thanks again.